I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick pregnancy story. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't have great editing stuff, so it's gonna be just a vlog style. My water broke at 28 and a half weeks. Um, usually babies in my family run late, so it was kind of strange to be early, but I, it was early. Um, I just had a chiropractor appointment. Um, actually, I just, I only had the massage for it. I do massage and then I deadlift and then I have a chiropractor appointment. Um, Tuesday I did lift, so it's kind of fun because that Tuesday, 24 hours before my water broke, I deadlifted still. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, but then Wednesday I had my my massage and um, right afterwards my water breaks, I am standing up from the bed and I'm like, oh, okay. And I got up a little bit more. I was like, okay, more. It's just coming. And so I put on my dress without my leggings underneath. It's a fairly short dress without leggings underneath, but I was leaking like a massive amount of fluid and dripping all over the floor. And so I see it. I'm like, do you guys have a towel? <laughs> kind of from the back corner. Um, or two towels. <laughs> and so I grabbed a couple towels and um, <laughs> so I got the towels. I dried off and then um, got to the car and like drove to my house <laughs> guys so uh uh it's the first day of december which is exciting <laughs> but uh, i i just got out of my car i'm pretty sure my dress is like half on because my water just broke <laughs> so or i guess it's still breaking as i'm walking so that's fun um just had a chiropractor appointment and massage and as i was sitting up i was like oh and it just kept coming <laughs> so uh, anyways getting ready to go back to the hospital 28 weeks and it's Wednesday so it's been a half so. Uh, so when I got there I was four centimeters dilated hey so I'm uh, came in with my water broke I was at four centimeters so that's exciting started um, knew I was like already dilated a week and a half ago so I didn't know how far I'd be today um but yeah super excited my husband's grabbing the birth plan I'm, my brain's like I don't know what I want but it's all typed up so it's good um yeah I, I guess we're just here it's actually a really cool view for tri-cities I mean if you're in a big city that's not exciting um but yeah I like I like the room <laughs> I don't know um but yeah it's uh what time is it it is seven o'clock on December 1st um my water broke at four and um yeah, we're just waiting. I haven't actually started consistent contractions. I've had lots of Braxton Hicks, like, and maybe they were actual contractions. I don't really know. Um, the last few nights I've kind of been up with what I thought were Braxton Hicks, um, like constantly. So not not really timeable because they were. So anyways, I, I don't know. Um, everything's within normal, so we're good. Um, just waiting to see. Um, yeah, give you one more quick look. And uh, this is my dress for uh, I guess I'm accounted for December 2nd, maybe 3rd. And I'm probably going to be wearing, like, robes <laughs> from then on. Um, yeah, I will see you guys later. And then I also, like, we'd hoped to get my Botox done before. Um, didn't happen, so I did have kind of migraines throughout. And then um, also I was throwing up. I've been throwing up um, kind of like every three days leading up to it. And I was pretty nauseous during, and then I did throw up quite a lot <laughs> um, during. And so I got to five centimeters, and I was like, I am I am having migraines in between contractions. Like, I was doing fine up until that, breathing fine. Um, but just having no downtime to, like, breathe without being in pain, without migraines, without nausea. Um, I did do the epidural. And that's – my thing was kind of like, if I'm going in with migraines, I'm going to probably be like, give me the epidural. If I'm – there's no migraines, and it's fine, and I'm breathing well um, – then I, my goal was to not, but that wasn't the situation at all. So I did the epidural and it was great. Actually, it, um, I hadn't slept in days consistently because I'd been waking up with migraines, been waking up and needing to use the restroom, been waking up from kicks and punches and all the things, right? And so I hadn't slept well for a long time. So the epidural, actually, I got like three hours of sleep, um, before pushing, uh, pushing was super quick, um, my doctor, the, so my mom went into really quick labor too. Like she was nine centimeters dilated before she even went to the hospital for me. And so like, um, so it's kind of a thing that might run in our family. I don't know. But, um, 
yeah, so the doc, we see the doctor like running into the building. We're like, oh, we guess it's, it's closer than we thought. And so, um, it was about 20, probably 20 to 30 minutes of pushing. So not that much. Um, but I did, I did rip so that I have a tear, like a, so I'm pretty sore after that. Um, but yeah, it was a quick delivery. I think strangely, uh, the delivery was the easiest part for me. Um, the aftercare was, has been kind of not great. Um, but it's quite, it's quicker than I thought it would be. I thought I, I was prepared for weeks, just like not doing anything. I'm doing more than I thought I'd be able to after just a couple days. So that's good. I'm still pretty sore. still sitting a lot. Um, Lots of like pregnancy or delivery is, is like trauma on the body. So it does take healing. I'm still getting used to that idea of just like not, um, part of me hoped I'd be able to just like do things right after, which I knew wasn't true, but, um, but yeah, so mentally I'm trying to get used to like resting a lot, a lot, a lot. The pregnancy was super rough. Um, like I was really sick early on and then second trimester, I was still really sick. And then, um, third, just, I carried him really, really low for a long time. Um, like he was negative one station four weeks before. So that's like 20, like, what would that be? Um, four weeks before I delivered, which was 28. So 20, yeah, from like 24 weeks on, he was super low. Um, and I was having symptoms of him being super low for a long time. Um, and that did cause some like complications afterwards with, um, anyways, that not big, not big things within normal, everything's within normal, which is great. But, um, but yeah, the last four or five weeks of being pregnant were rough because he was just so low all the time. Um, and then I was pretty nauseous too. And, um, yeah, just didn't feel good again. So yeah, the, the, the labor, um, even with ripping and like all that, I, I think in some ways I've, the stomach story I have, um, long story how to compare them, but I think some things of that like kind of helped with, um, just the mental aspect and the pushing, like what that's actually like was, um, not crazy. And I could still feel the natural urges to push, which was cool. I didn't know if I'd be able to with the epidural. So that, that was, that was a big thing. That was neat. Um, and I got to see, like, uh, I, I really wanted to see the placenta and like have someone take pictures. So one of the nurses like, on my birth plan, it said like, just for fun, there was a section of like, just if there's someone who can take pictures, I'd love to have a nurse take pictures. And she had so much fun with it. Like she did such cute ones and like, um, she did really good. And that's, I photographed for a gal who lived with us for her birth, her baby's birth. And I loved doing it. It was just such a neat thing to like have those photos for her. And, um, yeah, so that was really special and I'm really excited about that. And overall it was good. I think the biggest thing really was the recovery, which is what I was most worried about just for me and like how I handle pain is, um, yeah, wasn't excited about that. Um, and I think another goal too, like I'd, I'd, I'd wanted to deliver on my side, um, to reduce the tearing, but, um, but it just, I was way more comfortable on my back at the time of, and so it, and it was going well. And so we just stuck with it. Um, but yeah, he was born. So I did a video on the name. You can go check that out. And I will chat with you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye.